yes ma'am your voice is audible okay now see here here you are given an equation of ethane plus oxygen plus carbon uh, gives carbon dioxide water and heat the mass of your ethane mass of your carbon dioxide and mass of your water is given now what you are supposed to do is first you need to find out the mass of oxygen and then see if the mass of both two is equal to the mass of the product can you do that can you can you repeat can you repeat pardon yeah okay. you are given an equation that is c2h6 is ethane this is ethane uh -huh. this is oxygen carbon dioxide water mass for ethane is 1.5 g this is unknown this is carbon dioxide it is given as 4.4 water it is given as 2.2 first you need to find the mass of oxygen right okay. and then you need to add up both the mass here and both the mass here and see if they are equal or not okay can you do that mm, no ma'am I'm, i'm not sure how to do that can you tell me how to do that i'll do the next one i'll show you Similar one and then you do it again see yeah. now first thing you need to find the number of moles number of moles is how many moles are there so for that if we talk of for the number of moles of ethane that number of moles is equal to mass upon molecular mass right this is the formula for number of moles right now what is the mass given for carbon uh, methane it is sorry ethane it is 1.2 g right what is the molecular mass carbon it is 12 and oxygen it is sorry hydrogen it is 1 so it is c2 so 12 into 2 and hydrogen it is 6 that is 1 into 6 6 is equal to this is 24 24 plus 6 is 30 so 1.5 upon 30 that comes to 0.05 moles now this is the number of moles for methane it is 0.05 moles we have found out now you will tell me why we need to find out moles because as per based on this mole we will find out the mass of oxygen right how are we going to do yes, that see now here we got two moles why two because when you see the equation when you see the equation what is the equation 2c2h6 plus 7o2 gives 4 CO2 plus 6 H2O plus heat. Right? This is the equation what we have. So two moles means this is two moles of this. We'll use seven moles. Two moles will use seven moles of oxygen to give you this product. So as per the mass given, that is 1.5 gram. will give you a mole of 0.05 moles so if for that very much weight how many moles of oxygen will be utilized that you need to find out clear yes ma'am clear till here yes ma'am so this is an unit ma'am uh, actually um this uh, what do you say um my okay. my basics concepts are a bit uh, you know off so can you take this um, like chapter can i give you the notes of this chapter that's what you're saying no 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 then can you can you take it from the starting so my concepts will be more ah, that's clear. what it's from the starting only but there is okay. no theory part right there is theory part you take the theory part So theory part was done last time, you know the basics of it. Then the first topic oh, yeah, yeah. was this. It was done. It was done. Yeah, the video I showed you, right? Yes, ma'am. After that, the next part is this only. The uh, the five concepts or five laws. Mama, my uh, I forgot all those moles and all. Okay, yeah. no issues. Chalo, then we'll go into that first, and then we'll come back here. Chalo, we'll go into that first then. So got all your moles and everything. No issues because that is also a part of this chapter. Okay, concentration terms. That is also a 
part of this you all you should know the concentration terms now the concentration terms are based on volume related and mass related right these are the concentration terms we will be talking of when you talk of volume volume may you have percentage by volume by volume percent weight by weight percent by volume that is w by v percent molarity normality these are the four uh you know concentration terms based on the volume of the substance when you talk of based on the mass of the substance then you have weight by weight percent mole fraction molarity parts per million there are also four of them there clear now always remember when we talk of volume related volume is always affected by temperature you know that when i when i take a balloon sorry when i take a balloon inflated and put it under a sun what will happen the balloon will increase explode. in size it will increase and ultimately it will burst why because it takes the molecules of the air which is inside the balloon absorbs this heat and they become very random they expand right now once again i'm someone that wrote Yes, ma'am. You can continue. So, whenever you have a volume-related, uh, you know, concentration, always look whether the temperature is being told or not. Because as you increase the temperature, volume will increase. As you decrease the temperature, the volume will decrease. So, volume-related concentration terms are always related to, like, they are affected by the temperature. Whereas mass-related yes, terms are never affected by the temperature clear mm -hmm. yes ma'am okay Understood. the first one is say i have a salt solution of 5 uh, 5% in water what does my statement say weight by weight weight upon weight percent percent is always 100 yes and what is can i write this is... or do i need to write it or No, no, no! I'll send you these notes. Don't worry about it. I'll. Uh, do you use Google Classroom? Google Classroom, no. No. Okay. Now then, you don't have WhatsApp, to. Right? I'll send you in WhatsApp. Not an issue. But then WhatsApp, you need to download it. And if you don't download it, you will miss it out. So better yeah, yeah, yeah. one thing. I'll. I'll make a classroom. I'll send you the link. You join yeah. that link. It is just a Google thing. you just have to accept my invitation and you'll get all your notes in that got it uh, okay yeah, yeah yeah okay now see here mm -mm, my pen got stuck hmm so you have a nacl in water what does nacl in water means you have solute as nacl and your water is a solvent got it so what is weight by weight means you have to take weight by weight person is mass of the solute that is your nacl upon mass of the solution solution will be when you mix the two obviously you know that solute plus solvent equal to solution yes ma'am yes so mass of the solute by mass of the Sol uh, solution into hundred because we are finding percentage that is into hundred. Clear. Weight by weight definition is clear to you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now see here. My question is given as five percent weight by weight. That means I have five gram of NaCl in hundred ml of water. 100 ml of solution not water sorry solution 
into 100. That means it is 5%. Clear? Clear? Stop. Here, see, I'll show you an example. This is 10. Stop, can I repeat? Can I repeat? Can I repeat? Yeah. Can I repeat the previous one? Yeah, yeah. 5% right. weight by weight means 5 gram of my NACL is dissolved in a 100, uh, 100 gram of solution. This is my solution in 200. This is my equal to 5% weight by weight percent. Got it? Got it till here, Ash? Yes, ma'am. If you're not understanding, tell me. Okay? Don't hesitate. Um, ma'am, one, one more time. Ma'am, one more time. I'll, I'll explain you with the help of this. Jello. See, you have 10 gram of sucrose is dissolved in 10, 100 gram of water. Now, sucrose is your solute. Solute is what? Sucrose. What is its weight given? 10 gram. What is the solvent? Solvent is water. What is its weight given? 100 gram. You have to find what? Weight by weight. Percent. You know the definition of weight by weight. Now, so you know that solute plus solvent gives you solution, right? So, what is the weight of the solute? 10 gram. What is the weight of the solvent? 100 gram. This is equal to 110 gram. This is the weight what we get from solution. Because agar, uh, if I have to make sugar solution i have to take both the weight right of yes, the solute and the solvent together yes, then only i'll get the solution so my final weight of the solution will be 110 grams right now i need okay. to find out my weight by weight person how will i find out weight by weight person what is the definition of weight by weight person mass of the solute weight right Weight by weight percent is equal to mass of the solute. What is the solute here? Sucrose. What is the mass? 10 gram. Mass of the solution. What did I get mass of the solution? 110 grams. 110. In 2. If I have to find the percentage, I have to multiply by 100. This is equal to 100 upon 11 percent you can say got it you can simplify it it will be around somewhat nine point something something nine point zero nine percent got it yes ma'am understood ma'am i'll try the next one okay next sum is bit tricky because you have the density given. Now, if you have density, density rho is equal to, always remember, wait a minute. Density, mass of the solution. Hmm. Okay. Mass of solution is equal to density into volume. Now see here, here you are given a volume. Here see, what are you given? Solute is equal to 10 gram. Solvent not given. Instead, solution is given. Solution is given, which is equal to 100 ml. Just give me a minute. There's a call, okay? Okay, man, no problem.
Okay, so the solution given is a hundred gram. Now we know that when we are finding weight by weight, we do not need volume. We need weight. So you need to convert this volume into mass. That is in gram. So you have to use this formula. You have to use this formula to convert volume. This volume is hundred ml. Into density, it is one point two. One point two into hundred will you give you the mass of the solution? Got it? Ash, did you get it, bitta? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Ha, chalo. Now do it once. Ma mass into volume. Hmm. Mass of solution. No, mass of the solution is equal to rho. Rho is nothing but your density. Rho symbol is density, which is one point two gram per mL. Try it out, okay? Yes, ma'am. Um, what do we have to find? Yes, Ash. What are you saying? Find what we have to find. So weight. Weight by weight percent. Um, how do we find volume? Volume, you volume is given to you, beta. See, hundred ml. The volume of the solution is given hundred ml. You need to find the mass. So just do uh one point two into hundred into one point two. Yes. So that is one twenty. One twenty. Yeah, one twenty. Now, what have you, you found the mass, right? Now you got the mass of the solution, right? And you have mass of solute given as ten gram. Mass of solute given as ten gram. And mass of solution you got is one twenty. So, weight by weight percent is equal to how much? Ten upon one twenty gram. This is equal to one by one by twelve. That is equal to convert it into decimal, and you'll get your percent. Got it?
आज डिड यू गेट इट बेटा मैम मास ऑफ सॉल्यूशन अब कैन कैन यू गो अप कैन यू गो अप कैन यू गो कैन यू गो Done. In two hundred, right? We also need two hundred. It'll be ten upon one twenty into hundred. That is twenty five upon three. That is eight point three three percent. Yes, ma'am. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now it is volume by volume. Clear with mass by mass. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to share these notes. Yeah, I'll surely do it. Coming to volume by volume, it is just that you have to take the volume of the. In, right now, we were taking the mass, right? Mass of solute divided by mass of. Solution we were taking for weight by in two hundred sorry in two hundred this was for weight by weight percent but when you come to volume it becomes the volume of solute by volume of solution in two hundred just the mass gets cancelled off instead we write volume got it. Clear, Ash? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, ma'am. So, it's say for seven ml HCl in present in hundred ml of water. So, what it will be? That is seven ml upon hundred ml of the solution into hundred. So, that will become is equal to seven percent. Ma'am, or the question here is HCl. Seven ml of HCl is present in ten ml of solution. So you have to find the volume. Clear? If I give you a numerical, wait. I'll give you one question. Do it. If ten ml of HNO three is dissolved in Hundred ml of water. Find. Um. 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 HNO three is um. Volume by volume. This thing, right? Hmm. HNO three is this thing, right? So Nitric acid. Sol. Sol. Solvent. Ha. No. HNO three is the solute. Solute and uh, H two is solvent. Water is the solvent. Always remember, solute will be less in amount. Solvent will be more in amount. Okay. That's a good trick. Find the answer. Now, how do we find the volume? Volume is given, but ml means volume, and gram means mass. Ye yad rakhna. liters when you talk of milliliters liters that is always in volume so this is the volume given only
Done? No, ma'am. No. It is simple. Volume of solute. What is it given? Upon volume of solution into hundred. So, what is the solution uh, solute given? Ten. And is the volume kya hai? Hundred. It is hundred into hundred. Sorry. No, no, no. Just a minute. It will be one ten. Because 10 ml of this and 10 ml of this will become, solution will become 110 ml of volume. So, it will be 100 upon 11, that is 9.09%. Why did I write 11? Why did I write 11? Why did I write 11? 111. It is because, see, now what is the question is, my question is said, that I am taking 10 ml of the solute that is nitric acid and dissolving into 100 ml of H2O. Right? Mm -hmm. That is water. Nitric acid ka amount kitna hai? How much amount is nitric acid? 10 ml. Plus, I am adding that into 100 ml of the water. So, this is solute ml, this is solvent. Sorry, this is solute and this is solvent. So, when I get my solution, solvent, uh, solute, this is solvent and this is solution. So, when I get my solution, it will be 110. Right? Yes, ma'am. Got it? Yeah. Just a minute, Ash, there's a call. Any doubt are still here? No, ma'am. Okay. Chalo. We'll move further to now. It is weight by volume. Till now you studied weight by weight, volume by volume percent. Now next is weight by volume percent. Means you have to take into consideration the weight of the solute. That is mass of the solute divided by volume of the solution. Got it? You have to consider the mass. That is whatever is given in. How will you find out the mass? Mass will always be given in grams, kg, milligram. And volume is liters, milliliters. Decaliter, deciliter, all these things. Liter word. L comes for volume. Gram comes for mass. So, mass by volume of the solution into 100. Say for example here, that is 3% weight by volume. Means 3 gram of sugar is present in 100 ml of the solution. So, what will be the weight by volume percent? It will be mass. That is 3 gram. By volume is 100 ml into 100. So, that will be equal to 3%. Go through it once.
got it ash got it beta yes ma'am uh, ma'am can you explain the sugar one again means here you have to find weight by volume thing weight always comes in gram right so that is weight given as 3 gram 3 gram of the solute that is sugar is taken as the solute the solution here is given as 100 ml solution will be volume so 3 gram upon 100 that is volume volume of solution mass of solute into 100 So hundred hundred gets cancelled off. This is equal to three percent. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Try one numerical on your own. The solution of ten percent weight by volume. That is, this is given sugar solution. Find weight by weight. If density is one point two, अभी तक uh, till now what I have explained you has to be used here to find the sums. I have explained you three things: weight by weight percent, that is equal to mass of solute by mass of solution. In two hundred, then this one volume by volume percent is equal to volume. Arey, my mistake. Volume of solute upper above ah uh, below. You have volume of solution in 200 and mass of solution is equal to density into volume use 1 2 3 and this 4 to do this sums chalo do it and show me Um, which sum? This one, Ash. A sugar solution of ten percent volume by volume is given. Find its weight by weight. This is given. Weight by volume. This is given. You need to find volume by uh, mass. A uh, weight by weight percent of this solution. This sums. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Right out. Chalo.
Ash dan No, no, no. Are you able to do better? Take your time, okay? No issues. You can you explain this? Yeah, surely. My time is over also, right? No issues. Five minutes above, it's okay with you. I don't know, but for me, it's okay. No issues. Okay. Okay. Fine. Now see here. What is it? My sugar is, uh, uh, you know, it is given by 10% volume by uh, weight by volume. Means a weight by volume is my mass of the sugar is 10 grams. And my volume of the solution given is 100, uh, 100 ml. From this statement, we get this, right? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Ten percent is what? Ten, sorry, ten upon hundred into hundred only is your ten percent. So my volume of the solution is hundred ml, and my mass of the solute is ten grams. Clear? Mass of the solute ten gram. Now, how will you find the mass of the solution? Because we need weight by weight. So for weight by weight, we do not need milligram. We need gram milliliter we need in grams so for that your density is given that is 1.2 gram per ml density into volume is known as 100 we know volume we got the volume of the solution is 100 so 1.25 into 100 that gives you 1 point or sorry 125 gram of this mass that is of the solution now we know Weight by weight percent is equal to what? Mass of the solution that we got 10 grams. Mass of the solution that we just found out is 125 gram into 100. So when we solve this out, we get 8%. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Ash, just give me a minute. Ash, is your phone with you? Uh, yes, my boy. Uh, I'm sending a link. Check your uh, group. Um, join that link, na? It will be lovable pets. The person name that is me. Teachers will be lovable pets. Check it out. With any of your email ID, you can join. Yeah. Got it? Join it. Yeah, I joined.